Hey folks, Lori at Not Forgotten Farm. Thanks for staying with me if you have watched my previous four videos on my little short tutorials of how I do my primitive stitching for my embroidery, such as this, such as that. He's cute. This is stitch number five. This is going to be the running stitch. I'm working on Osnaberg. I'm working with three ply Valdani thread, which is three ply cotton floss. Running stitch using a friction pen so I can erase it afterwards. Okay, running stitch. Putting a knot on the end of my thread. If you don't knot, we can still be friends. Running stitch. Extremely fun stitch. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. In and out. Look, it's that easy. How cool is that? I love it. I love running stitch. It's really, really, really one of my favorite things to do. I will use this running stitch to accent around my outline. Um, you can see here on his arm, this is the stem stitch that I have used to outline his entire person. Then I come in a little bit and I use the running stitch right there up along here, just to accent it. Now I don't go all the way around. I do tiny little straight stitches on one side and you learn the straight stitch in the last video, video number four. See these straight stitches? Small little straight stitches all the way down. These are also straight. These are also straight. Running stitch is good to fill. I filled his hat in. You can do running stitch directional, um, you know, any way that you want. Horizontal, vertical, 